Hi there. This is in review of February the 16th. And of course, I ask you to view these as paintings like I always do. The hero comes down from the mountain and radiant with power. Yet one tussle with a dusty old man will quickly tumble him to the dirt. In the olden days, when a young man or a young woman wanted to be extraordinary, they'd go up into the mountains and they'd train with a famous master. They would be away from the distractions of society and isolated in cleanliness. They remained on a high peak and they did not come down until they gained some kind of great ability or skill or knowledge. These such people are really heroes. They are for the pinnacle of cultivation. However, in their subsequent wanderings in the world, some heroes would stumble across an oldster who could quickly get the best of them. Whether you're in a philosophical debate or some sort of physical endeavor, there's always some obscure wanderer who can outshine the greatest heroes. Why, you ask? It's because the hero had perfection. Because the hero had perfection. The strength of youth and courage. However, the elders had the advantage. They did have uh, superior experience, wisdom, and skill. Let me tell you, there will always be people in the world that are better than yourself. There will always be people in the world who are smarter than yourself. And there will always be people in the world who are stronger than yourself. You really should learn to recognize the people that are wiser than you and learn to respect them. You must know that you yourself will not be great until you've lived a long time. Now, to perfect yourself is difficult, but it's not rare. To have perfect wisdom is rare indeed. To have perfect wisdom is rare indeed. So that was the first half of February the 16th, and this is the second half. Tidal windstorms, split trees, and rock. Yet it cannot last a day, and it's so much less that is man's work. When a storm hits, an entire ocean of wind and rain is spent upon the land. Leaves are turned inside out, and branches are broken, even granite is worn away. But these types of gales seldom last an entire day. In spite of tremendous amounts of force that the storm releases, it really doesn't last very long. It doesn't even last a whole day. If heaven's work cannot last an entire day, then think about the work that man can do. It can't even last that long. We're extremely temporary if you think about it. Governments barely survive from year to year, especially now. The rules of society are constantly being challenged. We are in a time of a great challenge. The family is eroding and personal relationships kind of decay. And one's career eventually just topples. Even the great monuments of the world are now being destroyed by pollution and neglect. Nothing lasts, in fact. It's simple. There's no action that any human being can set into motion that will last forever. Really, all our efforts are temporary. They are kind of borrowed from pre-existing forces. What you need to do is just sort of ride the current of natural events and then just disappear according to what's dictated by the situation. It's best to know the transitory nature of things and just work with it. Understanding the world's ephemeral nature can be the biggest understanding of them all. So see you next time. Bye.